Welcome back, Seth Pling here. As you can see, I've built a moving car in Minecraft. This is pretty cool. Honestly, I really did not think that this was going to work. Uh, the car moves on its own, runs along a track. You can see uh, the background is kind of pre-rendered, and so is the car. And you can look a little bit more closely at the blocks. It's moving along, and well, when it gets to the end, there are going to be some problems. Uh, so I built the background using a program called SpriteCraft, which allows you to turn images into... Uh, yeah, into into blocks. When it gets to the end, though, it's going to kind of have issues. So let's take a look at what's actually going on here. All right, so now I've removed the invisibility effect, and we can see what's actually going on here. There's like a thousand zombies, I don't know, hundreds, uh, each wearing a block on their head, and they are moving towards a row of villagers. Uh, all these villagers have slowness 7, and the uh, the zombies here have a follow range that is very high, so they can detect the villagers all the way from over there, and they come over here and start mowing down these villagers. And, um, and for some reason, once some of these villagers die, we start to see... I'm not actually sure if it's extra zombies spawning or zombies losing their blocks. Oh, I see. It's, vill it's villagers, turning into, or is villagers turning into zombies. And anyway, <laughs> so the car kind of becomes a mess at this point because all these villagers, all these zombies are just now completely aimless. So it kind of crashes once it, once it leaves the game board. But uh, that's how I did it. I wrote some some of my own code to make it happen. But it's just invisible zombies wearing stuff on their head. Uh, translated uh, the blocks that are on their head were basically translated from the pixels of an image of a car. And that's how it's done. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.